Hey guys, this is Mr. A Crazy here, and today I'm going to be doing a movie review, and today it's on a Disney movie from 2009, and that is G-Force. Now the plot of this movie is where is where the, this team called G-Force, of course, where it's where it's where it's where, where, where it has animals, mostly guinea pigs, of course, like some animals, but mostly guinea pigs. And so you got these guinea pigs named named Darwin, played by Sam Rockwell, Blaster, played by Tracy Morgan, and Juarez, played by Vanellope Cruz. And of course, you also got like a mole named named Speckles, played by Nicolas Cage. And of course, we got we got a fly named Looch, played by D. Bradley Baker. And so, and so they, and then, and they get shut down by the government, and they're no longer working. So they go to a pet shop where they meet this guinea pig named Hurley, played by John Favreau. And so he's being, and he's like being recruited because there's like another mission they have. They have, this, they have there's like another mission they have to do where all these kitchen appliances come to life and, and trying to take over the world. And so, and so they all have to do whatever they can to to, to stop them and, and save the world. So that's pretty much the the plot of this movie. I. To be honest, I think G Force is is an okay movie in my opinion. I mean, I used to like it back then when I, I used I used to like it back then when I saw this movie in theaters, like in three D when it first came out. When it first came out on July twenty fourth, two thousand nine, I used to like it back then. But nowadays, I think I find I find it okay. And I and I do know there's there's a lot of people out there who who hate this movie because yeah, it's it's I mean it's Disney, but it's all but also Jerry Bruckheimer produced this movie too. Yeah. But yeah, but but if you hate G Force, and that's fine with me. I respect your opinion. I just think it's an okay movie, in my opinion. And on the other hand, I, I mean, the the CG character designs for the for the guinea pigs. I mean, they they're they're pretty decent, in my opinion. And I think like, I think the acting's like okay, in my opinion. I mean, the live action actors who are in this movie, like Will Arnett and Bill Nye, like the British actor, and Zach Galifagus, yeah, I, I think they do pretty pretty decent. And the voice acting's still pretty good. I mean, I mean, I thought Sam Rockwell did did a good job in this movie, in my opinion. Like Sam Rockwell, and of course Vanellope Cruz as Juarez. Like, I, and to be honest, I gotta say, in my opinion, I actually love Juarez because you know Juarez, right, right, right there. Yep, that's her. I I kind of think she's pretty cute, in my opinion. Yeah, because that's what I think. And I think Tracy Morgan did did okay as Blaster, and and of course, and of course, John Favreau as Hurley. Eh, I guess he did. I guess he did okay. I guess, but, but, but as for the movie itself, it's 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 pretty okay for what it is. But yeah, so I kind of I kind of because because like I said, I I do remember seeing this movie in theaters in three D, but and and now and now that I, now that I think about it, because looking back on one of my Ask Mystery Crazy episodes. When I kind of said that Up was the last movie I saw in theaters but before I took a hiatus from going to the movies and all the way up until 2014 when I saw Million Dollar Arm, I, I think it's like a tie between Disney Pixar's Up and G-Force. So, but may, maybe, I, maybe I saw G-Force first before Disney Pixar's Up or something like that, if you don't count by that. But like, like the, like the, like I do remember, like I do remember the first movie I saw in theaters was the live action Cat in the Hat with Mike Myers. And I think the last movie I saw in theaters, like before, before I took a, before I took a hiatus from going to the movies, from all the way up, for, all the way up from 2009 to to 2014, I think it's like a tie between Disney Pixar's Up and this movie G Force. When I saw G Force in 3D, yeah, but it do, it doesn't matter which movie, which, which movie it was. It was. It's like a, I think it's like a tie between Up and G Force. Oh yeah, and and other and and, and as for G Force, since since I know there, since I since like I said, I know there's a lot of people out there who who dislike this movie, but but I also had a feeling like I I've, I always I always had a feeling where I think what, there there was a day on there was a Wednesday that Nostalgia Critic would would review G Force because because I know Nostalgia Critic has been reviewing lots of bad movies like in the past, but I think nowadays since nowadays ever since he included sketches in his reviews that that that, that, that people are not really liking, I. I and, and he doesn't really nostalgia critic like Doug Walker. He doesn't really re, he doesn't really review bad movies that much anymore. He's mostly reviewing good movies. But but to be honest, I, I gotta say I think nostalgia critics should review G Force one day because I think I have a feeling that since, since 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 some people don't don't like this movie, I I think nostalgia critics should review this movie. So because I can imagine it if Doug Walker, or nostalgia critic, or Channel Awesome's watching this. 
then I, I think I think I'd choose Nostalgia Critic to review G Force because I know I know I just have a feeling he he could he might review it on a Wednesday in the future because usually he uploads a new video a new episode review on a Wednesday at six o'clock first at five o'clock and then six o'clock yeah on YouTube. But yeah, like I said, if you if you hate G Force, and that's fine with me. I respect your opinion. Cause like I said, it's an okay movie. I used to like it back then when I first saw it in 3D. But it's just an okay movie nowadays. It's not one of Disney's best movies, that's for sure. So overall, G Force is an okay movie, and I'm I'm gonna give G Force I'm gonna give G Force a uh, Three and a half out of five stars. I guess that's my best rating. Three and a half out of five. And so, if if you haven't seen G Force yet, but if you're but if you really are a Disney fan, then you'll probably like this movie. But but if, but if it doesn't really interest you, then that's fine with me. So, yeah, there you have it. All right, guys. So thanks for watching my movie review on G Force, and so that's gonna be it for this video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subs subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And this is Mr. A Crazy saying goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.